Okay, today we're going to hot wax a pair of skis. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is your temperature wax, whatever snow temperature you're gonna be running in, a hot iron, and some kind of metal scraper like this you can get at your ski shop. Um, you're gonna tie up your binding brakes somehow with a rubber band or something like this so it doesn't get in your way when you're ironing. Um, you're gonna take your metal scraper that you have if you have old wax on the base um, and you need to scrape it, see all that white stuff coming up? That's the old wax. You want to scrape all that and get that off of that on the whole base. Um, if your skis haven't been waxed or it's been a long time, you probably don't have any wax on them, so you don't really need to scrape them. Just wipe them down with some mineral spirits or something to clean that base up before you drift the wax on there. Okay, we're ready to drip the wax on now. Um, and you're gonna need an old style, style iron that doesn't have the steam options. Um, you can use that newer style. Um, it's just gonna plug up those holes and uh, you won't be able to use it for anything else, which is fine too. Um, so when your iron is nice and hot, you're gonna take your wax, take the iron, flip it upside down so it's pointed down. You're gonna just touch the wax to the base of the iron and see how it's dripping we're just gonna let it drip run down the whole length of the ski and just like that okay once you got your wax dripped on there you're gonna take the iron and start melting the wax start turn start using a circular motion here we're working all the wax into the ski you see how the ski's heating up now you don't want to sit in one place when you're doing this. You'll burn a hole right in your ski. So you always want to be moving. And if it's not melting, turn it up a little bit. Um, if you don't got enough wax, drip a little bit on in that one area or something. And go down the whole length of the ski. After you uh, dripped all the wax on there and it's set up and dried, um, you need to scrape the wax off of your edges. Otherwise, you're going to slip all over the place. It's not going to turn very well. And you can use that metal scraper if you have one. Or a they have these plastic ones. Or a piece of plexiglass just to make your own. Cut a piece. And now what you're going to do is just scrape all the edges of the, of the edge here. On the sides. And you're going to flip it over and do the top. See how you're getting just the edge and you're scraping the wax off just the edge. Just like that. And you wanna do all four sides, both, both edges, top and sides. Just like this. And you can see the wax on there. So you can tell if you didn't get it off yet. And then you get the wax off the edges. You can uh, kind of buff your wax if you want. Um, if you're like a weekend skier or something, no big deal. But if you're a racer or something, you're going to want to scrape your wax down and smooth it out. You know, just real lightly. Get the high spots, you know, hit, knock them down a little bit. And then you'll take a piece of Scotch-Brite like this. And you'll run it down the ski like that. And you see how smooth it gets it? Like that. Now that's like a, a race finish right there. If you're a racer or something, I'm sure you already know how to do that. But that makes it even faster. You don't have to do this step. This is just a extra performance step. But see how much smoother it gets it? 